What's up, Cancer? Welcome to your November reading. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I really appreciate you. If this reading helps or resonates with you, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you do want to get like the full scope of November, I would recommend that you check out your other placements. I am available for personal readings if you'd like to book with me, and you can find me on my Instagram and TikTok at Jade Stone Tarot. So with that being said, Cancer, let's get right into your reading for the month of November. 2022 we have the master maker nice number 22 along with iris of the rainbow 32 22 and 32 that's really powerful okay cancer so i really feel like you are mastering some sort of lesson this month um you're getting good at something or you're really establishing like your roots your root system okay like you're getting really grounded we have the camel coming out. That's very good, especially when it comes to like your confidence and your independence. And I feel like you got a good grip of what's happening in November. November seems to be a pretty good month for you so far from what I'm seeing here. Um, if you've been dealing with any struggles or challenges as of lately, I want to say that it's going to pass very soon for you. Um, you're actually learning to adapt you're learning to kind of roll with whatever comes your way. You're adjusting really well to certain changes. We have the zebra and the tiger coming out. Wow. And the phoenix is at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Scorpio energy. Spirit energy as well. Very scorpionic. And we're in Scorpio season. So this is a very powerful time for you, Cancer. You're learning. Yeah, you're learning some really important lessons here that uh, you're... you're graduating i feel it's like there's a sense of graduating a lesson or a cycle that you may have found yourself in here and there and that's fitting as we're in eclipse season so eclipses are really going to help us break away from past patterns beliefs molds um relationships etc etc like things that we found ourselves stuck in time and time again this is going to be a month for you especially cancer um where you're working with this lunar energy you're working with the power of the moon the fact that like look at this the fact that the camel and the tiger both are highlighting this moon energy and then all of this is like intuition even the zebra right third eye being highlighted is like intuition is on point and you're strengthening your intuition abilities your psychic abilities and your healing abilities you're really getting in tune with that you're expanding you're having a lot more fun too in november it's recommended like you go have fun you do things that you enjoy you know this is a month of expansion and letting loose and also really like connecting with your creative side um what was i saying before though yeah working with this lunar energy you're working you're in tune with the moon it feels and um yeah, it's like you're mastering some sort of craft or ability cancer. You're getting really, really good at whatever it is that you're doing um, to the point where it's almost like you are like a perfectionist at what it is that you do. Like you're very gifted and you're very talented and you might even be getting some sort of recognition for it. This is the energy of like being able to... Um, this is like you're reaching some sort of level of mastery in some sort of aspect or maybe multiple things and it's through trial and error there's been a lot of growth there's been a lot of learning curves there's been a lot of ups and downs and like i said struggles and lessons that you've had to learn you've had to repeat certain things from time and time again here with the hummingbirds like returning to things from the past you know you it's like one step forward two steps back one step forward two steps back you know you've gone down that road and oh wow <laughs> the bat underneath that it's just like you've learned and now now you understand and now it's solidifying and now it's concrete and um you know it so i'm happy for you cancer it really feels like you're ready to move on to this next level like i said you're graduating you're moving on to this higher level of commitment for some of you um some of you are thinking about like moving or traveling or it, this could be representing like moving jobs or um like physically moving where you live so that might be coming up for someone if that's something that you've been thinking about even like planning down the line even maybe six months from now that might be something that you're kind of starting to think about or planning ahead um yeah the, the zebra is a very like visionary energy where you are 
you're visualizing the life that you want to have, the life that you wish to experience, and you're working with the moon. Like, again, um, you're really, like, using your abilities to manifest. And they, you know, astro- a lot of astrologers say that manifesting during an eclipse is kind of risky. Wow, so sorry for all the distractions in the background. You know, they do recommend, like, don't manifest, but we're always manifesting. Like, we're always, you can't stop that like we're always like you know so i guess just be careful what you wish for this is a time where there's a lot of unpredictable energy especially as we're approaching the full moon eclipse in taurus it will be conjunct with uranus and that's going to be creating a lot of like unpredictable random events um rare occurrences things that we don't see coming or thing things that we don't necessarily plan for or we thought we had an idea what was going on or what we had in mind and then it turned out like completely like 180 degree flip and it was like whoa like that just kind of threw you off or not even in a bad way but just like things that you're unable to prepare for and so that's why you're really needing to in november you're really needing to get in tune with your intuition which you are cancer you're ruled by the moon you're intuitive as fuck already <laughs> like you already know this but it just like continue doing that continue mastering and connecting with your your higher self meditating more journaling more um just making that more like a practice mastering that um just so you know you're intuition is sharp and on point for when things might come up you'll already be prepared you'll already see it coming and you will be able to like move and be flexible with those changes okay so this is an awesome energy the tiger is kind of like a high priestess it's like you're observing you're kind of keeping quiet you're just kind of like watching things unfold around you you're observing others you might be kind of like isolating yourself a little bit here with the camel spending some time alone would be beneficial for you in november or just some space having some time to yourself just to decompress and allow these messages from your higher self and just tuning in to what's going on like you're needing some silence or you're needing some space or you're needing some quiet um for what's to come so this is like to prepare you you're being prepared for something pretty big um but it's it's really powerful and like i said it's like you're learning some sort of lesson and you're getting ready for the next level so let's pull some tarot messages let's see what's going on let's get the details as to what's happening for cancer in november we have a lot of watery energy this month right we got a lot of scorpio energy um jupiter is back into pisces for the next two months or so so it's gonna be like our intuition is gonna be heightened even more and then of course the eclipses that are occurring it's just like intuition you're gonna know before something happens you're gonna just you're gonna be able to tell you may not have like physical proof or evidence or you know solid facts but like your intuition will just know and i feel like that's what we were saying in your last reading which i only did that a couple days ago so if you missed that reading check it out it was a good one I don't remember it though but it was good it was a good reading um yeah all right so let's see what's going on for cancer summarizing venus in november 2022 what's going on for my cancerians in the month of november all right we got the page of swords there might be some sort of news that you're receiving good news that's coming in information you're receiving the moon oh you know look at this the moon and the page of swords this is like intuitive information that you first of all i'm actually i'm getting a couple things from this so first of all like i said you might be receiving some sort of news or a message that comes in there might be some sort of information that comes in um that you weren't expecting or that you didn't see coming right the moon can represent like things that are hidden um but this can also be talking about intuitive information that comes to you that you receive through you know it, you could be walking you could be driving you could just be cleaning up your home um whatever and then all of a sudden you get like like an aha like an idea or a feeling or an image or you know something comes to you like that or it could be through your dreams it could be through meditation but there, you're going to be receiving messages from your intuition your intuition is guiding you and your intuition is telling you um to to pay, to pay attention and to also follow like follow your instincts and follow your gut right knight of wands is all about taking action so perhaps you're getting this intuitive 
insight to take some sort of action or to do something or go somewhere or to initiate something okay that's for some of you now um i'm gonna pull more cards you guys this is pisces energy though the moon right like i said we have jupiter that's back into pisces for the third time so this might be echoing a little bit of um what was going on maybe back in february march maybe i can't really i can't remember it was somewhere in the winter the beginning of this year when um jupiter was in pisces and then it moved into aries now it's back into pisces because it's in retrograde but it's not a bad thing it's actually jupiter in pisces in its home is actually really positive this is too many cards so i'm not taking that but um yeah it's just like super super in tune with your intuition even like your creative abilities. Take a look at where Jupiter sits in your natal chart. That might give you a little bit more insight. Or take a look as to where you have Pisces in your natal chart. For me, it's in my fifth house. So, I mean, I'm already like feeling like the creativity and shit like that. Um, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Chariot. Let's see. Mother. Mother. What? <laughs> I was like, Mother? Mother? Is there something to do with the mother? <laughs> um that's too many i'm not taking that messages for cancer for the month is what i wanted to say month of i was about to say march <laughs> where am i messages for cancer for the month of november sword reverse i see you're getting over a heartbreak or sad disappointing situation king of pentacles okay tower five of wands three of pentacles and the four of wands yeah you're rising from some sort of struggle um or even if there's been like tension in like a home situation or work or some sort of foundation where there's been a lot of tension and arguing and not seeing eye to eye i really feel like there's going to be a shift in energy three of pentacles and the four of wands there's actually that's going to be resolved and i feel like everyone anyone who's involved in this chaos and this drama and conflict and even competition i feel like um i feel like that that tension and that butting heads is easing and there's collaboration happening here coming together with people who you really resonate with coming together working in teams sharing ideas teaching each other and sharing your resources because everyone has their own unique gifts and abilities that they bring to the table and so that's kind of what this this four of wands and this three of pentacles is talking about it's like you are going to be coming together with like-minded spirits like-minded people people who are similar to you people who are younger older than you i feel like you're going to be connecting with a lot of people this month after after some struggle okay right this is kind of like maybe you're going through this currently or maybe this is the beginning of november but there has been some bashing of energies there's been some clashes there, there's been um, a struggle of mixing here um it's kind of like water and oil like they don't mix right um so that there's been some struggles here there's been some issues there's been some and that's the thing iris of the rainbow uh iris of the rainbow like i said this is about learning some sort of lesson the sooner you learn a lesson the sooner the struggle will pass the sooner the storm will pass so it seems like you know it's re it's tying into this tower and the five of wands it's like whatever struggle that you were experiencing with whether it was internally in your own little world or maybe it was impacting you and your relationships in some sort of foundation maybe there was arguing not seeing eye to eye whatever the case is it's like um the sooner you recognize what the underlying issue is and what the underlying like <sighs> lesson that's it <laughs> as soon as you can identify what the lesson is um it is like completely calm down and like tension eases and there's peace and there's i want to say serenity like there's just like calmness so I like that right it's kind of like after a crazy dramatic booming scary storm where it's just like thundering and shaking your home and then all of a sudden it just passes it was intense it was raining heavy maybe it was even hailing right crazy ass winds you thought oh my god all the trees are gonna like fall apart and get broken and busted and you know we're screwed but then next thing you know all five five ten minutes later the storm has passed and the sun is shining and there's a rainbow so he's, that, that's literally this card cancer so if you feel like you've been going through that storm just know november that storm is coming to an end and there's going to be a beautiful rainbow okay all right very very soon okay things are going to be 
smoothed over for you we have scorpio energy cancer pisces we got all this water in this reading what did i say what did i say what did i tell you cancer there's a lot of water watery energy that we are in tune with this month so um yeah you know what five of cups reverse and the three of swords reverse you're getting some of you are getting over like a breakup or heartbreak or separation or some sort of loss um that you went through um some of you might be getting like therapy or you're getting the help that you need to get out of like a really really difficult situation that was impacting you um emotionally and mentally i just feel like there's such healing taking place and there's just letting things go and moving on with your life um getting your stability back getting your confidence back feeling more supported within yourself and within your environments um like i said even having more supportive relationships and partnerships and friendships in your life that bring you back into alignment bring you back on track to where you're supposed to be um you may have experienced some setbacks or some delays or again like there had been we have three fives out here five 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 so you've been going through some pretty massive shifts cancer and it hasn't been easy you know some of you felt like you were going through a breaking point you hit your lowest rock bottom you felt doomed you felt like doom and gloom but i just want to let you know that that is almost over if not already but november is going to be the month where this ends and things start to uplift and things start to feel positive again and you're starting to see it's 3 3 3 p.m a hey, you're starting to see um the shift in your life you're starting to feel a shift in the energy you're starting to actually notice it in your day-to-day -day life you're starting to notice it in yourself you're starting to notice it in your relationships where you are in life and just in general like even physically you're starting to see a shift and you're starting to like your awareness is changing right even that page of swords your awareness and your mentality and your thoughts that you're having and what you're telling yourself and also how you speak to yourself and others and conversations that are being had it's like there's a lot of shifts that are going on there's a lot of changes that are taking place there's a lot of things that are being illuminated for you cancer that you didn't understand before you didn't see it quite the way that you will be in november you're unlocking a different perspective you're seeing things under a different light and you know you're in like a really positive energy you are with that knight of wands you're feeling really positive you're feeling really optimistic you're feeling like you you're back on track after kind of falling off the rails right <laughs> uh you're getting back on track you're getting back on your chariot after some struggles it hasn't been the easiest some of you were pulled in two different directions and you're like what do i do here about this situation damned if i do damned if i don't like kind of in a sticky situation for some of you right with the chariot in this card in this deck it's like they're being pulled in two different ways and just you felt like it's situations that were happening were completely out of your control and again like it could be tying into like financial loss it could have been tying into like a loss that was going on in a relationship maybe you were feeling like someone was removing themselves from you or like distancing themselves from you or just like you know ignoring you maybe there was this this energy or fears stemming from you know your traumas and shit of like being abandoned or being left behind and that was maybe something that you were really struggling with letting go we're working through but again it's like there is a lot of healing that's taking place and this eclipse again we, took, we go back to the moon this eclipse that's occurring that we just had the solar eclipse and now we have the lunar eclipse coming up in a couple of weeks i yes the 8th 8th of november i think it is i think the 8th or the yeah it's 8th i believe pretty sure around then give or take um this is just bringing a whole deeper level of awareness of like where you're at and what you want and what you're moving towards and yeah it's just like there's a lot of realizations that you're having a lot of epiphanies that you're having but it's all good and it's actually helping you in so many ways and so many levels and there's good news that's coming in like i said earlier with the page of swords i was like you could be like the very first thing i said i was like there could be some sort of news that's coming in and then the fact that we have the page of wands that's underneath that is like some of you are receiving good news this good news that's coming in just like completely changes your world it rocks your world it makes life just exciting again like some of you have some really exciting news that's coming in i will take a look into this because i want to know what's this exciting news about cancer um let's take a look into that but you're feeling really optimistic yes you look at you getting back your power your happiness i love this for you <sighs> you can take a deep breath let go i really just felt that like i really felt that in my chest like okay Take a deep breath and just 
let it all out cancer release like i feel like there's um just like a huge weight a huge weight that's been lifted after so much stress so much tension so much like worrying it's like november is a month where you just lay it all to rest and you just feel so at peace and you're just like you don't even know what to do with yourself you're like what i haven't felt this way in like so long if not ever so it might be a completely different feeling for you you've never felt this way before but it is it is good and it's here to stay so um yeah let me take a look into what this news is about this page of wands page of swords i want to know what this news is it could be an invitation of some sort let me just move this all right so tell me about this page of swords page of wands for cancer i want to know what this news could be because it seems like it's very uplifting it feels like it um it's almost like the answer to all your problems <laughs> maybe <laughs> page of swords page of wands for cancer in november 2022 Tired of the Page of Swords, Page of Wands for Cancer. What is this news? Oh, High Priestess reversed, okay? So something that was once hidden, something that was once a secret, it's now being, something's being revealed to you. Could be tying into something that you were picking up intuitively or you were feeling intuitively, but you didn't, like I said earlier, it's like you, maybe you didn't have the, um, you weren't able to foresee it completely. Like you had a feeling, but you weren't able to completely like put your finger on it. But look, 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 clarifying what this news is, what this opportunity is. It's like, it's an opportunity. It's a, okay, I'm gonna look into this Ace of Pentacles. For some, this is a new job. This is an offer though, that's finally being revealed. Something that was hidden. Oh, it's kind of like when you plant a seed and it takes so long to germinate like longer than usual like let's say okay you plant a bean seed right it says like okay it's gonna sprout within eight to twelve days and so eight to twelve days later still nothing sprouted this actually happened to me in the summer it's like i planted some bean seeds and nothing there some came up but a whole bunch didn't and i was like what the hell i kept watering it but like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks later way past what it was supposed to it was supposed to take like two weeks it took like three maybe four <laughs> But it finally sprouted so it's kind of like something that like took a real long time to sprout or to germinate it's finally here or it's finally being revealed uh, let me just take a look into this though yeah look divine orchestration this is how the timing the reason there's a reason why it took so long for it to to reveal itself but it's finally here and the divine was really looking out for you with the judgment card oh my god and you're gonna be celebrating three of cups this is awesome and for some this could be in regards to romance here are the prince of cups just saying okay but let me let's 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 dive into this a little bit what is this ace of pentacles oh two of swords you'll have a choice about what you want to do with this of course of course tell me this ace of pentacles for cancer what is this ace of pentacles where did it go the moon this is what was hidden well no shit no really okay so cancer i kind of want to just give like a bit of a prediction is like this might be occurring around the full moon in taurus this opportunity or this offering or this invitation or this news whatever this is it completely changes your world it makes it makes everything so much better i feel like this is happening around the full moon in taurus so i think it like i said i believe it's the 8th of november so we'll see how that oh my god cancer cancer <laughs> but can we can we get some more details or is that it or is this, this is just gonna say like it's gonna be on the full moon tell me about this ace of pentacles for cancer queen, queen of pentacles seven of wands what was at the bottom three of wands yeah like just wait this is what you've been waiting for you've been waiting two of wands and underneath that seven of swords waiting planning waiting 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 for the right time okay yeah this is just um, it's not you guys it's not telling me what exactly this is if anything this offer that might come in you might actually be a little bit hesitant to accept it or trust it because you know you've been disappointed in the past and now that this has finally come in you are like hmm i don't know man if i can trust this so maybe i shouldn't even let myself go there or accept this offer don't do that don't self-sabotage 
that's what i'm going to say is don't sabotage this because it's here to stay remember we had judgment and the three of cups it's like it was just about the timing it was just the timing of events and everything's working out exactly the way it's supposed to and you're in complete alignment cancer i just want to let you know like this is happening perfect timing and there's not much you need to do but just allow and that's kind of what we were saying in your last reading was just like don't force anything at this moment let things come to you and with all this like feminine moon lunar energy the fact that the moon showed up so much in this reading we got the moon we got the moon we got <laughs> if i can pick okay i can't pick it up we got the moon we got the moon like so much moon energy fitting cancer ruled by the moon this is it's everything has like its purpose everything has its cycle it's all in alignment right it's all for your highest good this is exciting i'm happy for you cancer i'm gonna leave you reading here okay um let me know if this resonated let me know if you enjoyed keep me updated like right? around this full moon right write this down so you don't forget right but um if some sort of news comes in around then leave me an update i'm curious i want to know if my prediction's right because like it i really am feeling that i really i truly feel that in this reading like there's a bit of like a energy prediction around the full moon in taurus so don't forget <laughs> okay cancer i'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for watching leave a like comment down below if it resonated if you enjoyed um subscribe to the channel if you're new here I am available for personal readings if you want to book with me and you can find me on my Instagram and TikTok at Jadestone Tarot. Thank you so much for watching Cancer and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!